Hi guys, today I have a really easy how-to video, beef tripe. Now for some of you, beef tripe may be a daunting thing. Maybe you've never had it and it's this really exotic dish and you have no idea what to do with it. Or maybe you're used to eating tripe, but the cooking method is a little bit of a pain. You gotta boil it for a long time. So I'm gonna show you the really easy way to cook tripe using a pressure cooker and it only takes 18 minutes. Now let's start with what is beef tripe? Well, beef tripe is the actual inside lining of a cow's stomach. Now a cow usually has four stomachs and each stomach actually has a different lining or a different uh, pattern inside of the stomach. Some of them are really high quality, some of them are not. So maybe you've heard of honeycomb tripe, which is what we're using today. Now honeycomb tripe refers to the choice or premium lining of a cow's stomach that most people uh, would like to eat or most people do eat. Okay, and you can see here, all right, that it has the actual pattern of a honeycomb and that's why it's called honeycomb tripe. So that's what we're making today. Okay, so it doesn't get any easier than this. I have my electric pressure cooker and I'm gonna go ahead and add my tripe in here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is about three or four pounds worth of tripe. And you know, you wanna make a lot because it shrinks. Okay, so it's gonna yield maybe about 50 or 60% of what you started out with. All right, so we put that in here. And then I'm gonna add about four cups of water. Okay, some fresh ground pepper. And some salt. Now I like to put quite a bit of salt in there because it really does make a difference at the end. All right. Now we simply close the lid and we set it for 18 minutes. Okay, so 18 minutes are up and we've done our quick pressure release on the pressure cooker. So now we just remove the lid. Look at this beautiful honeycomb tripe. It's cooked perfectly at 18 minutes. Uh, it's not too soft, it's not too hard, it's just right. If you do tripe right, it tastes absolutely amazing. And one of the things about tripe that you really gotta get perfect is the consistency. If you overcook it, it gets a little too, um, I'm gonna use the word snotty, okay? It's a little too soft. And if you undercook it, well, it's really rubbery and you can't really chew through. I'm gonna grab my spider here, okay? And we're just gonna take this out and put it in a bowl. Okay, you don't really wanna keep the juice uh, that's left behind here in the pressure cooker. That's kind of a lot of the impurities from the tripe and so you just wanna discard that. And here you go, perfectly cooked beef tripe. Now from here you can go in all sorts of directions. There's all sorts of different recipes that you can do with this beef tripe. Uh, I'm gonna do a recipe called Callos a la Madrileña. That's what they call it in Spain. It's also called Mondongo if you go into Latin America. Okay, it's essentially the same dish. And if you wanna check it out, you can see it on our website at foodchaintv.com. You can check it out on our Roku channel, or you can visit youtube.com slash foodchaintelevision and check it out there. I guarantee if you like tripe, you will wanna check out that recipe. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your subscriptions help me make more videos.